What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we're going to go over the next problem on Spaj stamps. Um, this is actually not a hard problem, but uh, I'm going to skip the story because the story is too long to, to read. And I also, it, you really don't even need to understand the story. Basically, um, you have a few test cases. Uh, you're going to read in the number of test cases, but then you have two numbers, right? Uh, the next line gives you two numbers. The first line tells you how many stamps Lucy wants. Uh, yeah, how many stamps she actually wants. And then the next line tells you how many friends she has that she can borrow the stamps from, right? And then the third line is the number of stamps from which each of the friends wants to offer. So if we look at the test cases, let's go over them right now. Um, so the first line 100 this is the one that this is the number she wants number of stamps she wants so stamps this is the number of stamps she wants the next line is the number which is six is the number of friends willing to give her stamps right okay friends to give stamps and then um the rest of these the next line is just the number of stamps per each friend. So like 13, 17, 42, 9, 23, 57, 9, 23, 57, 23, 57. Okay, so now basically the questions ask us is um, what is the minimum number of friends she, she needs to give her stamps in order to reach the 100 that she wants. So when we reach the 100 that she wants, so this 100. So what is the minimum number of stamps she needs? Minimum number of friends to give her stamps. Okay, so if you look at the problems, if you look at the the array in this case, right? You see that um, this is uh, not really that difficult. Um, if you want, so if you think about this, you want to find the minimum number of friends to give her the number of stamps to get reach 100, right? So to solve this problem, if you, let's think about this. If I just pick like the smallest one starting from nine, right? Pick nine and then I pick 13. So I just take this nine then I add it with 13. Then I add it with like 17, right? At this point, it would take three, three of her friends would have to give her stamps in order to reach 100, right? And uh, that's actually not not a good idea because if you start from the smallest and then add a, summing them up to the right, you're going to end up with way more, more friends, right? You have more friends here and that's not what we want. We want the smallest number of friends to give her the stamps. So in order to do that, um, it's actually better if you sort it by largest to smallest. So if I sort from largest uh, to smallest, so now I, I get 57 here. And then I have 42, right? Uh, and then I have 23, and then I have 17, 13, and nine, right? Now I start adding from the left to the right. You're gonna realize that, oh, it's not gonna take more than three, right? Because then 57 plus 42 will get you uh, 99, and then 99 plus 23 will get you greater than 100 yeah that'll get you that'll get you more than 100 so that, that that's the answer would just be these three so the answer would be three three stamps three friends to give you her stamps so yeah that's pretty much the gist of the question um to solve this problem read in the number of stamps she wants read in the number of friends she wants read in your array sort it from largest to smallest and then just sum up sum up every single value starting from the beginning to the end, uh, if you get to a point where you reach greater than or equal to the stamps, number of stamps that you want, you just break and then you just print out the number of friends. You keep track of the number of friends that you have. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the gist of this problem. So yeah, um, I'm gonna show you the code now. Uh, let's go to my status. So yeah, actually took a, uh, didn't take that long actually. All right, whoops. Okay, so first thing you gotta do, um, read a number of test cases. 
t. And then after that, uh, this is a for loop to loop from number from one to le less than or equal to t. Um, the reason I use a for loop here is because they, they want you to print out each scenario. So if you go back to the, if you go back to the problem statement, the output, what they want you to do is for every like scenario, you have to print out one, two, three, right? And then, uh, yeah, you have to print out the scenario one, two, three. So that's why I had a for loop num equal to one, less than or equal to T. Okay. And then now I'm going to read an N and M. And then after that, I build my array, which is a, a vector with the number of values of M and I loop through it and read in my array. Okay. After that, I'm going to sort my array from uh, beginning to end. And then I pass in greater. So this is going to sort to s largest to smallest. That's what it's going to sort it by. Okay. Now I'm going to create an index. I is equal to zero, right? This index is just going to like loop through to the end of the array. And then when I reach a point where my like total sum is, is greater than or equal to the value that I want, then I just break, right? And then I could print out this, my current index that I'm on. So this current index is telling you how many friends is giving the number of stamps to me. Okay. So yeah, current index is equal to I equals zero. And then I count the total sum that I have for the, each uh, number of stamps and that's zero. Um, after this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through from zero to the, uh, end of the array, my array. Okay. Um, if my sum that I'm currently have is greater than or equal to N, so n is the number that I, that I want, right? If it's greater than or equal to the n, then I break, right? That's the number of stamps I want, then I break. Um, otherwise, I'm going to add. So I'm going to pick that element and I'm going to add it. So in this case, it's just going to pick a, add 57. After that, it's going to add 42, um, 23. Is the total sum greater than or equal to 100? Yes. So then it breaks. Right, so it adds, uh, it's going to add the current element. And it goes to the next one, next one, until the sum is greater than or equal to n, and it breaks. Okay. Um, so if the sum is less than n, right, um, there are certain cases where it's impossible. And in this case, like, no matter how many, even if you add all the elements of the array, um, it's still going to be less than the number of stamps, right, that you want. So in this case, just like in the problem statement, you have to print out the scenario number and then print impossible. So that's what I do here. So if the in, if in the end the sum is is less than n, it's still less than n. It's if the sum is still less than the number of stamps we want, then it's absolutely impossible. Because at this point you already summed up the whole value of the array, and you don't, and it's still you still can't get to your total sum that you want, right? The total value. Okay, so in this case I just print out scenario the number, and then I print out the colon, and then I print impossible then yeah, it's impossible to print out a new line. Um, otherwise I just print out scenario, uh, number, current number, print out the current index value. And then I just print out end. Okay. So this I represents the, remember the I represents the current, uh, current number that I'm going to current add, right? The current number of friends that I'm going to include. So that's what this I represents, right? So then I just print out, print that out. And I print a new line and then that's it. So yeah, th that was pretty much just the code. There's not much to it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.